Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenGuard Customer Advanced Registration Plugin. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you how the OpenCard Web Store admin would be able to extend the customer registration from uh, form basically uh, using this uh, particular plugin according to the requirement there. And uh, we'll be showing you the workflow uh, at the uh, storefront and at the back end as well. And uh, it uh, or this particular plugin basically is uh, used to create the uh, registration uh, or the customer registration fields for the customers and it helps you to extend the customer registration form and uh, uh, this uh, plugin uh, allows you to create the fields and uh, you can create different types of fields like uh, select create your button text file etc so well, let's hop onto the storefront and let's see how this particular open cart customer advanced registration plugin works so uh, right now at the uh, storefront uh, for the open card platform based web store and you can see i'm on the registration uh, page here and uh, under the personal details you can see that we have the default uh, uh, options here like the first name last name email telephone number and here you can see that we also have the gender that has uh, the uh, radio button there and uh, so uh, these are the default ones and here also we have the organization details so uh, basically uh, let's uh, go to the back end first and let's create some uh, custom uh, attributes for this uh, registration uh, uh, page and then we'll come back to this section and let's see how uh, those uh, fields uh, or the advanced uh, custom fields uh, are visible to the customers while they're trying to register within your uh, uh, web store that is based on the open card platform itself so let's uh, go to the back end now so uh, let's log into the uh, admin panel for the open card web store so after the successful installation of this particular plugin let's see how we can create the advanced registration uh, fields and uh, for that uh, the uh, open card web store admin would be able to find the advanced registration uh, menu option on the side panel after the successful uh, installation of this particular plugin and under that we have the uh, create fields field status and the dependent fields as well so let's go through each of them one by one so here we can also create the de dependable fields apart from that the admin can also make use of uh, uh, the uh, download file option as well for the uh, registration page now let's go to the create fields so here the uh, mark the admin would be able to uh, create uh, multiple number of fields as required so here you can see that we have the organization details that we were already seeing at the storefront on the registration page the gender option that was there so these were the uh, uh, the custom fields created by the admin so here we have uh, different options that we can choose to create the uh, custom registration fields like the radio button if we tap on that that brings up the create field uh, pop-up and from here we can choose uh, to uh, configure the general settings and we also have the uh, tab to validate the particular field that we're going to create and uh, under general you can name your field uh, for example i'll set it as test one and depending upon your stores uh, if you have multiple stores uh, you can set up the name accordingly uh, then you can choose uh, the location of this particular field whether you want to have it uh, on the account page as well or under the address as well you can choose the customer group for which this particular uh, field would be available the status of this particular field so for now we'll set it as account and let's go to the validation we can also set a validation on this particular option here and uh, and after setting up the general uh, uh, settings uh, for the uh, new field like the new field name uh, the location where it will be available the customer group for which it would be accessible uh, if you have multiple customer groups so uh, those would be uh, displayed here and you can check uh, any of them as per your own requirement there then you have uh, the status now let's go to the validation field if you want to validate it you can uh, choose as uh, uh, check uh, this particular option here now we can set up the custom field value name so we have set uh, it as test one so we'll set it as t1 uh, depending upon uh, the stores uh, we have so i have multiple stores so i have set it as t1 t2 we can set up the sort order to add multiple we can set it as per our own requirements there so this is just a demonstration to show you how we can create a new field uh, using the radio buttons 
we can set the sort order for the scene then just tap here on the uh, save button so we just need to set the sort order for the options as well and uh, thereafter we'll just tap here on the save button and that would create a new uh, uh, custom field uh, that's the test one two it's enabled it's not required we can uh, also edit it we can delete it we can tap here on the edit button to edit this particular uh, field that we've just created uh, we can choose to uh, make it as required or not uh, that is also uh, the option there and uh, let's see how this option uh, gets visible to the uh, cust uh, to the users who are, who are trying to register with a new store so it would be available under the account option then so now uh, at the storefront of the registration account page uh, you can see the uh, newly created uh, one uh, the uh, extra field that we created for the registration account for the users and here we can see that uh, we have uh, the test one two along with the radio option that's the s2 so that's how we can easily create the uh, custom options uh, for the registration uh, page for the users let's get back to the create uh, field similarly we can make use of the checkbox as well just tap on that uh, set up the general settings uh, the validation add the uh, custom field values according to your requirements you can add multiple you can remove them up as well you can set the sort order for the created field and similarly you can create text text area file if i tap here on the file you can see that if i go to the validation uh, here we can set up the uh, downloadable file as well we, then we have the date and time date if i tap on that we have the date we can set up the validation for the date and uh, we have date and time all together as well if i tap on that it picks this particular thing up to set up the general and the validation for the uh, chosen uh, field and all of those fields would then be visible here as you can see right now and uh, that's how we can create the fields now let's go to the field status and uh, here we have all the fields that we have created let me refresh this uh, particular page once and uh, you'll be able to see test one two so it's enabled right now so we from here under the advanced registration we have the field status we can disable any of the fields that we've already created uh, the custom fields now if i go back to the storefront we have test one two if i refresh the page now it would be gone so you can see that the particular field has gone away from the uh, registration account page on which we uh, set up the new uh, custom uh, registration field for the customer now let's go back to the field so here we can manage all of the fields that we have created now lastly we have the dependent fields let's go to that and from here we can create the dependent field as required so for that uh, we can choose the field then we can choose the uh, dependent field on them for example we'll choose it as fix facts so if uh, anyone chooses the company then he needs to enter the facts as well and this is uh, this would be a dependent build field similarly we can add multiple dependent build fields for example if we choose uh, zone id at the uh, registration page and then we set uh, the country id then uh, after choosing the zone id the customer needs to uh, choose the country id as well and then you can just tap here on the save button to save this particular field and the file fields would be saved as you can see right now also all of the registration fields are uh, DAX uh, are validated so uh, what happens is that a warning message uh, for any of the fields is visible right after the customer fills uh, tries to fill in the field so for example uh, here you can see that if I tap here on the address or the city and try to move further then we can see that the validation is also uh, working on the uh, city right now similarly uh, if uh, there's uh, the uh, validation on the postal zip code then you can see only digits are allowed so we'll have to remove this and now it would be okay and good to go so for example if i choose uh, the city now it's okay and good to go so validation can also be applied uh, to each of the uh, fields uh, that we create so for example we have uh, test one two here and if I tap here on the edit button and uh, under here we have the uh, validation section so the uh, custom field value for example it's uh, T1 we can uh, so if I enter a male and a female here uh, then the validation would be checked there at the storefront uh, as well 
and uh, these were the three uh, main options advanced uh, under the advanced registration uh, for the open count web store like the create fields to create radio button uh, checkbox text text area file date time and date and time type of uh, custom uh, options uh, for the uh, customers to extend the registration form and to gather much more info from the customers there uh, then the field status wherein uh, you can set up the uh, uh, enable or disable of any of the fields that you have created so you can enable or disable any of the fields you can choose to create dependable fields as well as by your own requirement there and you can set the uh, what we say as uh, for example uh, if the uh, customers uh, want to register and they're trying to enter their password then they can see the password strength meter uh, that would uh, uh, be there so you can see right now the uh, the strength for the password is weak and if I try and enter more of the uh, password uh, there you can see the meter is going strong and strong also after the restoration the customers can edit uh, the fields from the account section and uh, for this they'll just need to uh, click on the edit account option in the account menu so let me show you that for that let's uh, log in to uh, the uh, customer account and then we'll be going to the account section to edit the uh, custom registration fields so I log into my customer account and uh, thereafter we'll be going to my account and here I'll go to edit your account info and here you can see the uh, organization details that uh, it was the uh, custom uh, field that we had created uh, the gender so from here you can change that up and you can tap on the uh, continue button to save uh, or update your uh, data and uh, so uh, the uh, fields that you created uh, uh, under the uh, I'll just show you that uh, it depends upon now uh, where you have uh, assigned those uh, fields uh, for example uh, we had test one two if I tap edit uh, I had set it the location as account so this uh, particular field can be edited under the account only and similarly if we have any address uh, via address uh, our custom option that we have edited that would be uh, editable under the uh, account uh, or the address book itself so for that let me show you let's go to the front end once again and uh, let me uh, go to the address book and if any of the uh, options have been added those would be then uh, visible here uh, for uh, editing uh, by the uh, customer itself so here we just need to tap on the edit button that brings up the uh, address uh, edit address details and then uh, we can update uh, any of the custom uh, uh, fields that we have assigned here and thereafter you just need to tap here on the continue button to uh, update your custom uh, uh, field uh, uh, data so uh, that was much about the uh, open cart uh, customer advanced registration plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding how we can create registration fields for the customers and how we can extend the customer registration form from the back end using the different field types like the select radio button text files how we can add the validation uh, how we can set up the uh, strength meter there for the uh, password how we can uh, assign the created uh, uh, advanced registration uh, uh, types uh, under the account and under the address uh, fields there so that uh, the cu customers can navigate to those sections uh, to edit the respective custom advanced uh, registration field that have been added uh, to your extended uh, open card default uh, registration page itself thanks for watching this uh, particular video and you can check the user guide live demo and the store link for more details and uh, if you have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the webcool.com or you may raise it together at webcool.qvs.com. Thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.